Good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining our daily halacha. We will continue in the laws of fasts and uh, specifically the laws of the three weeks and the fasts that occur at the beginning and the end of the three weeks, uh, Shavasa B'Tammuz and Tisha B'Av. Okay, so we were in the middle of going through the different fasts brought down in the Navi. We went through Tzom Aviv, Tzom HaChamishi, the fast of the fourth month, and the fast of the fifth month, that was Shavasa B'Tammuz, which takes place in the fourth month of the year, and the fast of the fifth month, Tisha B'Av, which takes place in the fifth month of the year, which is Av. Now the Pasuk also brings down the fast of the seventh and the tenth. So the fast of the seventh is the fast that takes place in the seventh month, as patterned after the first, you know, the first two fasts, Soma Ravi, Soma Chamishi, Soma Shvi, the fast of the seventh, the first of the month as well. That fast, as we all know, is Soma Gedalia. The fast of Gedalia, that takes place on Gimel Tishrei, Tishrei being the seventh month of the year. Now the fast of Gedalia commemorates the fact that uh, Gedalia ben Achikam was assassinated. Who is Gedalia ben Achikam? So Gedalia ben Achikam, in brief, was the governor, so to speak, maybe something like something like a governor of the remaining Jews of Eretz Yisrael after the destruction of the Beis HaMikdash. After the first Beis HaMikdash, uh, there were still a number of Jews and the uh, and it lived in Eretz Yisrael. Um, and he was appointed as their like governor, the leader of them, and there was a bunch of treachery that went on, and he was assassinated. Uh, for whatever reason, you can look in the Navi, the Navi and see you know, the story. Anyways, so uh, after, he was, after he was assassinated, the rest of the Jews, the, the, the Yishuv, the settlement of any Jews that were left fell apart, and everybody else was exiled, so that was, I think the Gemara calls it uh, the last uh, embers, the last uh, the flame of the, uh, of, of the Jewish uh, uh, existence in Eretz Yisrael burned out, and that was it. So that was a, a very tragic thing, because perhaps the Beis Amigdash would have been rebuilt sooner, etc. It would have been a revitalization in Eretz Yisrael if he would have been around. Okay. Um, anyway, so that was uh, that. That that uh, is the fast of, of uh, the seventh. It takes place on Kimmel Tishrei, the day after Rosh Hashanah. Now, it's an interesting halachic uh, nafkamina. There's a, 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 a following about the following machlokas. The machlokas uh, amongst the earlier poskim about uh, when exactly was he assassinated. It's based, based on different gemaras, but it's a machlokas when he was assassinated. One opinion holds he was assassinated on the first of Tishrei on Rosh Hashanah. We obviously can't fast in Rosh Hashanah, so the Chachamim instituted the fast for Gimel Tishrei. And the other opinion holds that, in fact, he was assassinated on the same day that we fast. He was assassinated on the Gim, on Gimel Tishrei, and the fast was therefore uh, set for Gimel Tishrei, the third of Tishrei. Now, what's the practical halachic difference between these two opinions? It's an interesting, interesting uh, practical difference. The difference would be: Do we consider the fast of Gedalia, Tzom Gedalia, the third of Tishrei? as a fast that was pushed off from its proper time. What does that mean? Let's say you have a, a fast day that falls out on Shabbos. Let's say a fast day falls out on Shabbos. And, uh, and then a bris falls out. Let's, so you obviously you push off the fast. Not You don't fast on Shabbos, except on Yom Kippur. That's the only time we would ever fast on Shabbos uh, for a fast day. So you, if it fell, falls on any other day but Yom Kippur, any other fast but Yom Kippur, it's pushed off till Sunday. Tisha B'Av as well. We pushed off till Sunday. So... If that if that's the case, if if it comes out to be a it's called a nitre, it's, it's uh, the fast was pushed off from Shabbos till Sunday. So if that occurs and a and a bris uh, a bris mila occurs on that day on that Sunday, which is a fast day, but it was not the real fast day. The real fast day was on Shabbos. It just was pushed off. So there's a number of leniencies. One leniency is about a bris. So so on those days, uh, we get into the specifics about Tisha B'Av is is more complicated. But uh, in short, the father of the Bali Bris, the Bali Simcha, the parents and the, the Moel and the Sandik do not have to fast. Uh, the, in Tisha B'av, I believe, they can only, they only have to fast till Chatzot uh, on this day when there's a Nitzcha. If it was regular Tisha B'av, if it was, it was actually the ninth of Av, they would have to fast a full fast even during the Bris. But if it's pushed off, if it fell out on Shabbos and, and therefore the fast comes out on the 10th, we fast on the 10th on a Sunday, then there's leniencies on that day because it's a pushed-off bris. So that would be the difference between these two opinions. If you hold of the, uh, like the post-Kim who hold, that really he was assassinated on the first of Tishrei. But the, but the fast day was pushed off for practical reasons because you can't fast in Rosh Hashanah. So then, that day of Gimel Tishrei has a din, has the halacha of a pushed-off fast. 
if it has a lacha of a pushed off fast, if a bris would fall out on that day, so then you would, the, the Bali bris would not have to fast. Uh, however, if you hold like the other opinions, that Gimel Tishrei was actually the day that should have been the, uh, that, that he was assassinated, and therefore it is, the, it is actually the appropriate day, the real day of the fast, it is the day of, of, of the fast that was originally instituted. It was, it was instituted for that day, so it is the proper day of the fast. So in that case, it's not considered a day of a, pushed off, a fast which is pushed off, and therefore the Baalei Bris, the people, the, the, the parents, and the, um, and the uh, father, the mother would not fast anyways, but the, the father and the, and the Moel and the Sanduk would, uh, would have to fast. Practically, though, Rav Avadja says, and I believe others say as well, that we have to be stringent, we have to be machmir, and everybody has to fast. Uh, the Bali Bris have to fast on that day of Tzom Gedalia. Um, you know, again, this is even if Tzom Gedalia fell out on a Tuesday, it would for, that would be you know the, the difference in, in opinions in halacha would be is that day Tuesday considered a pushed off fast or not? Because really, it should have been two days earlier or not. But like we said, Rav Vajja and others say that we have to be stringent and in this situation and consider it a regular fast. But that would be and 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 the Bali Bris. The, the Moel, the Sandak, and the father would have to fast the regular day that day. And uh, the Su'uda would be the, you know, do the bris obviously on Gimel Tishrei, but you do the, uh, you make the Su'uda at night, and the Bali Bris would have to fast. Okay, that's the, the fast of Gedalia, an interesting side halacha about it, and we'll Mirza Shem continue. Uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you for listening, and have a wonderful evening.